Hi guys, this is Olivier at Lead Lion. We're a lead generation agency uh, based in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And we do a lot of uh, email outreach for clients, CRM work, all that. So I'm here today to review with you the workflows feature Salesforce is launching. And I'm pretty excited about it. I've been beta testing it and I decided to create a workflow today uh, to give you a tour of what it's like. I've been using Salesflare for quite a while now, probably since their launch at AppSumo, and I've been very impressed. Uh, those guys add feature uh, monthly. Uh, they, uh, they launched campaigns a few months back, but now they really take it to the next level with workflows. I've been testing a lot of CRM. I haven't seen that much. It's, uh, I think it get, really gets them to the next level. So what we're going to look at today is my uh, workflows I built uh, a few minutes ago. Took me about five minutes to do, really quick. Once your copy's done, it's you just put it in and boom, it's on. Uh, what we're doing here is uh, just basically checking in with my English uh, prospects and clients I haven't spoke to, haven't spoke to in a while. Uh, so here's what it looks like. So everything's there. I'm gonna go around a quick tour, show you what it looks like. So first off, I've named my workflow endless check-in. Pretty pretty easy. And then I built an audience through the CRM. So here's what it looks like. You filter your audience and you pick who you want to talk to. So for myself, decided to filter by language. We have French customer, English customer, Spanish customer. Today we're gonna to focus on the English one. And then I added a tag to those folks because uh, those are the one I want to check in. There's a lot of other filter I could have picked. Every uh, field in my CRM could have been one, also by activities. Uh, if they've been in a campaign, what's their status, have they clicked, received, really a lot of possibilities here. But today we're going to make it simple. I've picked a language, had it a tag, boom, 31 folks in it. So then after that, you pick your goal. A lot goes on into this as well. Uh, for me, it's just going to be replies to an email. So once they reply, they're out the sequence, they won't receive uh, uh, the, uh, the, the other emails that they're supposed to. If they reply, they're off. But it could be something else. No specific goal. Uh, it would basically be a drip campaign to receive all the emails, whatever happened. It could also stop if a contact opens an email, an email or clicks any of those emails. The cool part about that is you can create workflows. Probably why they name it workflow is because if they open an email, they can receive something else. If they click an email, they receive something else. If they don't, so you know you can have workflows around their behavior with your emails. Pretty cool. After that, uh, after a certain amount of time, if they, the goal is met, email bounce, contact on subscribe, or they has not moved, um, after 30 days they're out. But uh, I could have did that by whatever I want. Then you can set it live immediately, or you can pick a date uh, or a time, maybe for a lunch, whatever you want. There it is. For me, it's going to be immediately. So here you can use, uh, for the first email, I uh, saw, I sent it a few... Uh, a few uh, minutes ago. I already have 100% uh, sent, was only 31 emails. 16% have interacted with it. Uh, none of them have replied yet. 6% have failed, so probably their email bounce. Uh, here's an email. Hi, first name, so that's a merge field with a fallback, so that's all there. So it's gonna be I, John, hi, Jack. And if I don't have a first name, it's gonna be there, hi there, basically. Uh, and then, you know, blah, 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 here and there. How about we catch up? I could have used different merge field. Any field in my CRM is going to be here. It could have been account name, account website, whatever I want to add to the email. But you guys are professional. I'm sure you're, you're, uh, uh, you're used to that. Um, then you can have your templates, add a file, a link. You can also format your text, uh, all kind of variation that you can use. Uh, you can add an unsubscribe link. I did not because there is our people I've spoken with before, so there is no need for an unsubscribe link. After that, Second email, if nobody reply, after three days, gonna receive this email. It's just a bump email. Another feature here, you can have the as reply or not. If I don't, it's gonna be a brand new email. I could have the subject here, but I want them to have the email thread with it. So I had it, it's gonna be a re-email. Re uh, so uh, they're gonna have this email in the email thread. And after that, it's five days, third email, seven days, fourth email, they have the email tracking on, and pretty much, uh, pretty much it for this feature. But it's super useful to uh, bump email. Uh, you know, you can do a lot of things with that. Uh, you can uh, take contact with uh, filter whoever you want in your CRM. Basically, send them 
uh, uh, email sequence. So that's it for today. I wanted to review it because I really like it and I think it's going to help uh, uh, sales uh, people to uh, succeed. All right, cheers.